Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another Sims 4 house building video. Today we are building a tree house. Uh, ever since I added back in move objects, I've wanted to try and do one. Uh, so here it is. It is nothing, it's nothing too special. It's pretty much just a house in the trees. It's pretty, you pretty much get what you expect. Um, uh, as well as I could build a house in the trees, here it is. So I wanted to have like L-shaped stairs going up to the, to the next level. And obviously the only way you can do that is by using foundation. So that's what I've done. I put a little bit of foundation there. And then I was able to put the sort of uh, stairs going up to the foundation and then up to the house. So it gave me that extra dimension. Uh, it was originally just going to be like a sort of a small, like a singular tree holding up the house. So you had the tree coming through the middle here. That was the initial idea. Uh, but then it just sort of turned into let's just add tons of trees to make it look cool. Now the the, the pictures that the um the if you if you click in the link in the the description below for the download and go to the gallery you you'll see the screenshots for this like the because they're auto generated screenshots you can't pick the gallery screenshots that it assigns. Um, and if you look at those, they're just awful. You can't tell anything about the house because uh, one of them is really far away. Then another one is just like trees there's just trees in the way you can't see anything uh so there are screenshots in at the end of this video as always how uh, to help you get an idea of what it looks like decided to add a large sort of uh diagonal component to this uh i wanted to you know, add on to it the one thing i i don't know like there was this one episode of uh the simpsons where but but i think bart's treehouse or something get it was destroyed for some reason I can't, maybe it was mr burns that destroyed it i don't know anyways then they get um i think they get the the amish people to like build them a new treehouse and it becomes this sort of two-story elaborate sort of treehouse and it looked really cool um and then in the end it burns down spoiler alert for an episode that's probably what 15 years old 10 years old no i don't know how old it is maybe 10 years um but yeah spoiler alert for that um and that's always fascinated me. So I wanted to do a, a two-story treehouse. Um, <laughs> that was the idea here anyways. A lot of trees. Uh, I tried to design it in a way that you could... Because uh, obviously in the inherent nature of having a ton of trees is that they're, they're going to get in your way when playing the game. So I tried to position them in a way that if you looked at the house from a certain angle, there wouldn't be any trees in your way. So you could easily sort of play inside. And then the, the intended angle is sort of this back backward angle that I'm looking from now. So whenever you look from the back of the tree house, there won't be any trees in your way, sort of obscuring objects or anything. Or at least that was the, the layout sort of choice that I went with. Uh, just moving the little foundation here. I don't know why I didn't just use the move tool. Uh, it occurred to me afterwards, I could have just used, clicked the little move button instead of dragging it. Which, I don't know why I did that. Didn't make any sense. But, you know, anyways, that's what I did. <sighs> Getting a little uh, little bits here and there. Wait, what, what day is this video posting on? Um, on Sunday. Oh, it's going to be the, uh, the 4th of January 2015. Which I'm sure you already know because you're watching it then. Or I guess the 3rd of January, depending what country you're in. And if you're viewing it on the time it's released. Anyways, so uh, I'm currently pre-recording uh, videos because uh, I'm going away for the first week of January. So I need to pre-record videos. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I was just wondering when this was actually posting. So happy new year. Happy belated new year. Uh, so how, how what's your 2015 uh, resolution? Uh, mine is to... Um, I, I don't know. I haven't haven't come up with one yet. It's not the new year yet for me. I'm still back here in 2014. This is like, this is we're going back in time now. Anyways, uh, I decided for the interior because uh, the the last build I did was a Christmas cabin, right? And that was really wooden and really sort of you know just everything was kind of made out of wood. So I didn't want to like obviously a tree house you think is made out of wood and all that, but I didn't want everything to just be wooden again because that was what the previous house was so i kept the outside sort of tree housey and wooden looking and then the inside is just like really contrasting it looks like a really nice house on the inside at least that's the idea i was going for i uh, decided to have a little open sort of wall there which actually goes into the kitchen area or will, what will be the kitchen area i was like a little open wall and uh, i get rid of that fence that's sort of cutting it in half so it becomes like a nice open sort of archway to the outside get some alfresco dining out on the uh, balcony there uh, so here I am, I'm just, I'm actually building a full second story here. The reason I'm doing that is so that it builds a floor, because I wanted the floor, then I, I removed the walls, so then I have a room up on this level that is a floor, and that allows me to put the wood on it, and also allows me to put the uh, the floor trim around it, uh, which just sort of gives it a little extra bit of detail. So I'm actually building the, the, the actual second floor now, and obviously, uh, when I, where I was initially building it, it sort of just had the tree completely inside of it, which is kind of annoying, and I didn't want that. So I just moved it around a little bit. I uh, got, got it in the position I wanted. 
And uh, so the upstairs is the bedroom. So this is a one bedroom, two bathroom house. One bathroom upstairs, one bathroom downstairs. Uh, or should I say tree house? It's not a house. Oh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so it's uh, it's a double bedroom. So yes, a single sim or two sims. Uh, of course, you could always expand the tree house if you wanted. Make a whole tree house village. Oh, that'd be cool. I reckon this would probably go well in the uh, the new world that's coming out, the game pack, whenever that's coming out. I guess that should be out this month sometime. Uh, if, if this is going up in January. The, what is it called? Outdoor Retreat. And I can't remember what the world was supposed to be called. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll probably, I, I bet that'll come out mid, mid January. No, I, um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to gamble mid January. So like second or third week of January is my guess. Either late, late second, early third week. That's my guess of January for, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. That's my guess, anyways. Because that, that seems to be when the updates have been coming out. Like the because uh, previously we had the three free game updates, and they were sort of either early to mid uh, of the month, and then I reckon this will be mid to late, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> speculating could already be out. It could be could have come out the first of January for all I know. Although I, I doubt that. Uh, I presume that probably go back to work because I, I guess I go back to work on January fifth. Uh, and then probably work on it for a week or two to finish it off. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Anyway, so figuring the upstairs layout is kind of annoying because uh, yeah, I included a, like the house is largely on a diagonal upstairs. So we get this weird sort of triangle shaped bathroom, which was actually kind of annoying to furnish. But I, I got there in the end. I got there in the end. Uh, and a lot of the lighting as well in some of these rooms is a bit messed up. Like the rooms that have stairs going into them are messed up because the room below them. If a room below a staircase is like outside or I think, I think the glitch is with the lighting, because if you don't know what I'm talking about, the, uh, the hallway there where the stairs come up, it has, it doesn't have indoor lighting. Like it's lit as if that room was outside. Um, and same with the living room downstairs in this treehouse. And the reason for that is that I think if stairs go to or from a room that is, you know, outside the room above then glitches with that same lighting and considers it outside. Because obviously those stairs going upstairs are coming from the balcony outside below. And then the stairs to the living room on the lower floor are coming from, you know, just outside. So I think that's what causes the weird lighting. Uh, it's one of those things we have to deal with until they sort of address that. Um, just trying to position these trees so they don't wholly come through the walls here. Like, I didn't want them that much through the walls. I wanted it to look like it was sort of encompassed in the trees. And obviously we had that one tree going straight through the living room, which is kind of cool. It's kind of annoying though. When you go into cameraman mode to take screenshots, uh, columns and trees always disappear. So you, you can't actually see the um, the tree in the screenshots, which is kind of a shame. But uh, uh, and as I mentioned earlier, this is available for download. You can click the link down below or you can search for hashtag treehouse on the gallery or hashtag the sim supply and it should come up or you can just search my origin id which is the sim supply so you can check that out there um and <laughs> funny thing is when i when i first put this on the gallery like i was like oh cool we'll just put that on the gallery now then i went in to take screenshots for this build and then i realized i left a bathtub in the middle of the living room so i think i think in this build you'll see me just leave a bathtub in the middle of the living room but it, it disappears after i realize it when i start taking screenshots uh, yeah, so I spent a while trying to figure out how this bathroom was going to work because, believe it or not, when you have a triangle shaped bathroom, you don't actually have a lot of space to play with because uh, objects don't tend to want to go in a lot of places. And it was kind of just like a game of trying to position everything in a place that would work. Uh, especially when I'm going to shower in here. Um, I ended up having, yeah, I having to put the shower there, the toilet in the middle there. Um... I'm not entirely sure if that toilet works, to be perfectly honest. I don't see why it wouldn't, but I guess it might glitch out. So you might have to move that. And then just put a little decorative sort of cabinet thing in that triangle corner. Because it's, it's actually quite a big bathroom, but I could only place stuff on that one wall because of the shape. So it, it was a little bit of a challenge, to be perfectly honest. A little bit of a challenge. Uh, so yeah, obviously you saw me building the master bedroom before, or the only bedroom really. Uh, I don't even know if I should have put a hallway, to be perfectly honest. Uh, now that I think about it, now, now looking back in hindsight, I originally had that hallway because I was going to do a second bedroom, but I couldn't fit a second bedroom. I guess I didn't really need to do a hallway upstairs. I could have just made it one large bedroom slash bathroom area. 
which probably would have worked a little bit better. One thing that annoyed me here, because this kitchen is, if you can't tell, it's on a diagonal. This whole room is diagonal. And when it's on diagonal, counters don't automatically snap together for some reason. I don't know why, but they don't. So then I have to like manually position them all as closely as possible, uh, which is kind of annoying. And then obviously it leaves like a little bit of a gap on the wall on the right side there. That's not too big of a deal, but it's annoying that they don't automatically snap together. You have to like do it yourself. It's like DIY counter snapping. Uh, so yeah, pretty, pretty simple kitchen here. Just nice sort of L-shaped kitchen. Uh, getting the fridge in there. Uh, moved it over there though. I uh, used the cheats, I uh, used the, the unlock, the career unlock cheat, which I always use now, uh, which in case you don't know is BB dot ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. That is the cheat. Um, I might do a video on that soon actually as well, because people always ask, what are the cheats used for build mode? I like, I've, I've, I've done videos on, did I do, a, I think I did a video on move objects, didn't I? I mean, I did a, I did a, um, Oh, maybe I didn't, because I, I did the uh, the live stream of playing with it. I don't know if I, maybe I didn't do a video of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a video of all the build mode cheats I use, because a lot of people always ask me. I always get the question. I get emails of people asking, and uh, so I might might do a video of that. Actually, probably a good idea. Might already be up before this video, so I might have already done it. I don't know. Anyways, here's the living room. Went for a three seater sofa, uh, and I put a little single sort of end table next to the uh, the central tree just because it, it sort of sat perfectly in the middle of the, the sofa there. So I could put a little TV in the center there and a nice yellow sofa to complement the light colors of the, the interior. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so unexpected. Like, how, like, this would actually be the, the coolest thing. Like, if you if you had a tree house, that from the outside just looked like a, you know, a regular tree house and you go inside and it's this really nice to design a home. <laughs> That'd actually be so cool. That'd be pretty cool to live in. Or the other kind of homes that I think are always awesome are the ones that are literally like sort of built into a cliff face. So it's just like, so it doesn't even look like anything. Like you might only see like one wall sort of coming out of the cliff, but the rest is sort of inside the cliff. I guess the downside to that would be that you wouldn't have much light. You don't have light from one angle. Uh, natural light that is. I don't know. There's always, there's always interesting home designs. Uh, so putting out a little chess table on the front balcony, so you can go out there and play, uh, play a little bit of chess versus your chums. Um, and then I, I did a, a painting easel here in just a moment to put in this corner. So you can do a little bit of painting. You know, it's a very inspirational home. Oh yeah, I got a little, little stereo there behind the TV. Uh, Cause you want to listen to some bebop and music. Yeah. So here's the, uh, here's the easel here. First, I think that's the first time I've ever changed the color of it as well, which is pretty interesting. So I was looking for the, uh, cause I, I did the career unlocks cheat obviously. And I was looking for the, uh, the sort of decorative paintings that you just put on the floor. Uh, found out, out they were in clutter. So these are sort of what you actually unlock, I think from the painting career. Is that even a career? I don't know. You unlock it from something. Uh, I guess it's a painting career. Um, yeah. So I was just putting those in there, a little bit of detail. So it's kind of like a little artists or I don't know, some, yeah, I guess like a sort of artistic person's retreat or something. This little, it's like their home away from home, this place. They come here, they get inspiration, do all their paintings, make it look pretty damn cool. So here's the downstairs bathroom. Again, it's actually an awkward shape. It has a two, two square diagonal wall on the side there. Um, and the whole room. Oh, actually, that two square wall isn't diagonal. That two square wall is straight. And then the, uh, the rest of the room is diagonal. So it, it made it really difficult to sort of get stuff in the room in a way that makes sense. There are no curtains on this home. You may have already noticed. Um, and I figured it's a tree house. Who's going to be looking? Nobody's going to be looking in the windows up here because you're quite, quite high up in the sky. So nobody can see in your windows. You just want to have a nice view out onto the world. So I use some of the, the sort of invisible lights here uh, to just light up the place a little bit better because like I was saying, it had that lighting glitch where the game sort of thought the room uh, was outside. So I use those sort of debug lights to get achieve a better sort of light throughout the home so it didn't look too dark. Uh, just sort of detailing this bathroom a little bit with towels and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, then we have this sort of large exterior deck here. I put a little barbecue. Probably not a good idea to have a barbecue uh, next to all that wood. Especially with a house made out of wood. On a wooden deck. Next to a wooden fence. Underneath a wooden roof. But it's there. So just be careful. Um, don't burn it down. And then you should be good. I mean, you, you just don't use too much lighter fluid, really. Then you'll be good. Uh, so I was trying to, I was trying to find chairs that match that table, but I think that's actually a, a wood, uh, woodwork table, like that your Sims can make. Cause I obviously did the show hidden objects cheat as well. Uh, so I think that's what that was. Cause I couldn't recolor it or anything. Uh, so I just did a nice simple white table instead out the back there. 
just to add a little bit of detailing to make it look quite nice. Uh, yeah, so then I just add a few more trees underneath to make it look like, sort of more like one large tree. Well, obviously it doesn't look like one large tree, but a cluster of trees, a little foresty area. Uh, nice little pathway, little dirt pathway going out the front, doing some basic terrain painting here and there to give it the a little foresty vibe. It looks kind of funny sitting here in Willow Creek, especially when you go to map view and you look at it and you see this giant uh, section of trees. It looks kind of funny. But I think it would definitely fit, like, uh, probably fit better in outdoor retreat when that world comes along. Uh, and probably probably have to change some of the trees so it matches the world. But other than that, I think it fits pretty well. So here we are jumming into the screenshots here. Here is the front of the house. You can see the stairs climbing up. Be cool if we could have ladders, but the ladders do not exist yet. Uh, so we're just going to go around the exterior as we always do at the beginning and view all of the angles of the house, the beautiful angles. Uh, and uh, oh, I miss I miss the bathtub being placed, actually. Uh, when I was taking screenshots, the first interior screenshot, like I took it and I was like, like I didn't notice the bathtub, and it was the second one that I noticed. Like the bathtub was just here next to the TV. <laughs> uh, but obviously I removed it now. Yeah, so you notice that tree, you can't see coming through the interior. It is there, but when you go into this sort of cameraman photo mode, uh, the uh, the tree just fades away, which is kind of annoying. Same thing happens with the columns. So if you see some of the columns missing, and that is why. So that was a living space just there. Uh, here's the outdoor uh, sort of dining area, looking into the uh, the kitchen in the back there. Pretty simple kitchen, nothing like this house is not really overly, uh, you know, over the top kind of build. It's just a simple sort of home for some simple sort of Sims that want to live in trees. Maybe you could call a Sim Tarzan and he could live up here. Ah, you can see one of my other houses in the background there. That's nice. Uh, so here is the bedroom. Pretty nice, actually. It, looks kinda, it kind of looks like a little sort of motel holiday room, to be perfectly honest. Another angle over there. One door to the hallway and one door to the bathroom. Uh, this is the ensuite bathroom of the upstairs, and then we'll have a look at the downstairs bathroom and then the floor plan screenshots. Of course, available for download via the gallery, as always, as I've mentioned before. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions for other builds, leave them down below. Uh, but I will see you next time, guys. And uh, I'm just going to keep stalling till the end comes. And uh, th there it is. So have an awesome day.